All my life, I've been the guy who never quite fit the mold. Yeah, that guy. The one people label as ugly without a second thought. It's like there's this standard for looking good that I just don't meet, no matter how hard I try. Living like this, it's like you're always on the outside looking in. You go out and people either don't see you or they see too much of what they don't like. And let me tell you, it gets to you. It chips away at you bit by bit until some days. You don't want to look in the mirror because you already know what's staring back. But here's the thing. One day I just got fed up. Fed up with feeling like I'm less than the others because of something as shallow as looks. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna make a video. Not for likes, not for some kind of validation, but to speak up about this, to let others know they're not alone in feeling this way. And there I was, talking into my camera, pouring out my heart about all the stuff I've been through. In my video, I laid it all out there. I didn't hold back on the details either, I got into the nitty-gritty about the parts of me I've always hated, how I've tried to hide them or change them, just to feel a bit more normal. And then the seven years, wrapped up in a relationship that, to put it mildly, was pretty toxic. It did a number on me, made me feel even lower, if that was possible. After that mess, trying to find someone new felt like hitting a wall of rejection over and over. It's not for lack of trying. I even got techie with it, used algorithms on dating sites hoping to get a hit. But no dice, just more of the same. Wrapping up the video, I kind of landed on this bleak note, wondering out loud if maybe the only way out of this cycle, the only way to get a shot at feeling normal and accepted, might just be going under the knife. It was a tough thing to admit, that maybe changing who I am on the outside could be my only ticket to fitting in. After I hit that upload button, I sort of shrugged it off. I didn't expect much to come from it. Maybe a few views, a couple of sympathetic nods, if that. The morning after I uploaded that video, I rolled out of bed expecting nothing new, but I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The views had piled up like crazy overnight, Numbers ticking higher every time I refreshed the page. And the comment section, well, it turned into this mini support group. People were sharing their own stories, echoing the feelings I poured out, and it was kind of overwhelming, in a good way. A few days passed, but one day, while scrolling through amidst the ocean of comments, one snagged my attention, not because I was scouring for compliments or anything. It just stood out because it was different. A user named Julie Romana M left a message that was simple, but hit me differently. She said, I actually think you're kind of cute, to be honest. I mean it. Something about the way she said it felt disarmingly genuine, like she wasn't just tossing out words to be kind, and the internet seemed to agree. Her comment was swamped with likes, a little island of positivity in a sea of shared pain and empathy. But then, that familiar skepticism crept in. My past experiences had taught me to be wary, to not get carried away with a few kind words, considering the mountain of rejection I've faced. So I brushed it off, figured she was just being nice, trying to make me feel better. A couple of days later, out of the blue, my Discord pings with a new message. It's Julie sliding into my DMs. Initially, I figured she just wanted to continue the conversation from YouTube, maybe share more encouraging words or something. So we start chatting, and it's all pretty chill at first, basic get-to-know-you stuff. The more we talk, though, the more I find myself genuinely enjoying our conversations. But here's the catch. She's in Argentina, and I'm halfway across the world in Sweden. The distance between us is not just a couple of miles. It's an entire continent, oceans apart. The idea of anything beyond friendship, it doesn't even flicker in my mind. 
Despite the physical miles between us, we keep this connection going. Here's where things take a turn I never saw coming. One night, it just spills out. We're talking, and somehow we just lay it all on the line. We admit that what we've got isn't just friendship. It's more, way more. And just like that, we're acknowledging that we've fallen for each other. It's a bit surreal, confessing your feelings through a screen. But somehow, it feels like the most real thing I've ever experienced. The day we'd been counting down to finally arrived. Julie's flight from Argentina touched down in Sweden, and there I was at the airport, a bundle of nerves and excitement. The moment I saw her, everything else just faded away. It was like finding a piece of myself I didn't even know was missing. Everything about it felt right, so different from any past heartache. Julie initially came for a two-week visit, but as we got to spending time together, saying goodbye just didn't feel like an option. So, she made a big decision to stick around a bit longer, stretching her stay to the full three months allowed by her visa. Time flew, and those months were nothing short of amazing. As time went on, we hit some real rough patches. Julie's health started to nosedive, which honestly scared the heck out of us. It wasn't anything we were prepared for, and it slapped us with a reality check we weren't expecting. Medical bills in Sweden aren't a joke, and with Julie's visa situation still up in the air, things felt, well, pretty tense. But here's the kicker. Even with all this stuff piling up, our feelings for each other didn't waver. It was like no matter how tough things got, our connection only got stronger. It's strange, but battling through those storms together made us feel closer than ever. Amidst all the craziness, I had this moment of clarity, or maybe insanity. It's a fine line. I thought it's now or never, and decided to go all in. I set out with a mission, heart racing, not entirely sure if I was making the best decision or about to commit to my biggest folly yet. But as I made that purchase, holding it in my hands, the ring, a proper engagement ring, thoughts were racing through my head. All the what ifs you can imagine. What if she says no? What if she thinks it's too soon? My track record with relationships wasn't exactly stellar and those old doubts and fears started creeping in. So there I was, heart pounding, knees feeling like they were about to give out, holding this ring and hoping I wouldn't make a complete fool of myself. I took a deep breath, got down on one knee and just went for it. Will you marry me? I managed to get it out, voice all shaky. The look on Julie's face, man, it was everything. First surprise, then this huge beaming smile spreads across her face and then she's laughing and crying all at once. And when she said yes, it felt like every teasy movie scene rolled into one, but a million times better because it was real. It was us. Thinking back to how all this started, a random video, a comment that could have easily been lost in the sea of the internet. It's wild to think how far we've come. A simple message turned into this incredible, beautiful mess of a love story that I wouldn't trade for anything. Who would have thought, right?